not only is New Zealand beautiful, but guess what? One of the adventures of living in New Zealand's diverse landscape is having access to so many opportunities to get out into nature, from hiking, biking, fishing, camping, skiing, bungee jumping, and road tripping. You'll never run out of opportunities for adventure. A very beautiful day to you out there and welcome to the Midday Show Live on ECWA Television International. As usual, I am Linda Philip and I have Tony Gana in the studio with me. Good day to you. Good day, Linda. How are you doing? I'm good. How, How are is your you day doing? going? Now you just relax, just, just pull her, you just uh, balance. How far? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're looking. live on Facebook and YouTube. You can drop your comments and leave whatever it is you want and your ideas about any country you want us to visit. I'm most there for take it. You are going to say something. Yes, I was <laughs> saying that you look good and glowing too. Always. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so New Zealand, we're talking about New Zealand, and I said a lot of things like for you to gain access to maybe whatever it is you want to do, you have a lot of opportunities to maybe hike or bike, bike or do whatever it is you want to do. Maybe you want to go for jumping, fishing, camping, and whatever it is you want to do. Like New Zealand, the natural beauty is just captivating. Mm -hmm. It's something that those who love nature will know that New Zealand is a place to be because whenever it is you want to visit a place maybe you just want to go for visiting maybe you just want to take time out or something like you just want to travel out maybe with family or maybe with friends even alone like just to have a quiet time for yourself like sure. it's very advisable for you to visit new zealand because there are a lot of things you would do there that will even give give you peace like the the scenario of that place is something else mm -hmm. and then the peace that you have is something else as well because when you talk about visiting places it's beautiful actually new zealand is a very small country that you can visit that you can do anything you want to do and the beauty alone is going to attract you something captivating do you understand like it's something that you don't want to stay without or a place you don't want to stay and a say you don't want you to visit want to you will be. want to visit it's sure. a place where you can advise someone to visit it's a place where you can tell someone we can go to this place to just have fun and that's it so far as you can afford it it's not a big deal for you so then when you want to visit new zealand, new zealand there are a lot of things you need to do and a lot of things you need to know so then when you know you want to do anything you should make sure you're careful of the environment and all the things you want to do Mm. So over to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> because you're just a guy, like you just want to say something, so I'm giving you the well, floor. New Zealand, the country New Zealand actually comprises of, or it consists of um, two um, major islands, which mm -hmm. are the North and the South, South Island. Yeah. And aside from that, they have about 700 more islands, yeah, aside from like this major, imagine. to tell yeah. you how, how, <laughs> wow. how, how beautiful the place mm -hmm, can mm -hmm. be. And aside from that, it's, one of, it's, it's actually the sixth largest um, um, country that has like the, the numbers of islands and you know talking about islands islands are places that you would definitely want to see mm -hmm. the places you would want to be mm -hmm. and aside from you being there there are so many activities that you would want to engage yourself sure. into and activities what are those activities you talk about activities like hiking scuba diving um, um, picnicking, like going for picnics, camping, camping like there are so many, uh, like there's many adventures that you are prone to uh, experience by the time you are, you, you travel out and for you to travel out, you should know that you will have to make your pocket, your mm -hmm. pocket bigger of as well. Course. You don't just go to a place and you know, you are not really p prepared financially, not, not as much as not to, uh, 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 sorry, in order not to embarrass yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that you are going there and then for you to have fun and for you to have fun, you have to make sure that your pocket is as well. Okay. And New Zealand is also a place that I would, I would, I would say that is a place that it's fit for mo mo movie shoots. Yeah, true. Because it's very beautiful. Yeah, it's very, so very beautiful. Like the nature, the if you're a lover of yeah. nature, you would love there because there are a lot, a lot of things that are naturally being built or created there that you would see for yourself. And it's better you see things for yourself rather than being told or probably reading all of those stories through pages. So for me, I feel it's a place to visit and it's a place that you don't have to necessarily look for. A huge amount of money before you yeah, go there actually. and even for you to get visas it's even easy yeah true. you don't have to necessarily go through the the, the, the hook, i mean the hook and cronin of looking for visas and all but then it's a place to visit and a place to you know enjoy your vacation if you really want to have a vacation yeah of course when you talk about moving to new zealand there are a lot of things you want to do so the main reason is why people will want to move to new zealand despite the size they said it's it, the tiny country has a lot to offer so from incredible nature and 
and delicious food to one of a kind opportunities you won't find anywhere else. So why not move to New Zealand? And then we said here that the landscape is unreal. One of the main reasons to move to New Zealand is the natural beauty. So both the North and South Islands boast epic and contrasting scenery, dense rainfall, rainfall, forest, and then snow-caped mountains, icy glaciers, and epic jaws, and rugged coastline are just a few of the sites you will see around New, New Zealand. The island is wild and untouched. So then whatever it is you're doing in New Zealand, you just know that you have an opportunity to explore the land, you have an opportunity to do a lot of things, that whatever it is you want to do, there's an opportunity for you to do something. Because even when you say you want to do, even if it's business, even if you want to just go there to relax, even if you just want to go there to think about a lot of things like New Zealand is a place for you to visit because it's a quiet place actually mm, then there are places where you can visit and maybe you can tell yourself that this place is actually the best and then when you think you've gotten to the best part of it you realize there's another you've place again you've not, you've not even gotten to the place like where you can go so it's not just not just that New Zealand is beautiful but then it's had advantages of living in New Zealand the landscape and then having access to so many opportunities that you will find yourself into into the nature and all of that things hiking biking fishing camping and all of that to that is more like it's an opportunity given to you maybe if you just don't want to stay in this particular place to hike or maybe to just go jumping or go to just fishing. go fishing or camping and all of that then New Zealand is another place for you to visit you can tell someone you can go with someone just for the visit and do whatever it is you want to do because whenever it is you have opportunities to do such things you realize you want to explore them a lot of people today will tell you that they don't have time or maybe they will tell you that time was not enough for them or they've not even done anything or maybe they did not even like maybe they've gotten just few places to visit but then New Zealand has a lot of places for you to visit a lot of places for you to go and do a lot of things you want to do of so then it's more advisable that if you want to visit New Zealand make sure you just have maybe one person with you that will accompany you so to go to, to such fun. places yes that to be fun because you can't just go to a place and then meet other people there and then you think you'll just start having fun immediately but then someone you're used to or someone you you know is your friend or maybe a family member or something like that maybe an acquaintance or something someone that you just know that you can actually talk with that person have fun and just move around then it's advisable for you to visit Visit such a place with someone else, so then you can actually explore a lot of places in New Zealand. Like going going to New Zealand, uh, there is a lot of opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of opportunities yeah, that course. you are prone to, like um, like so many adventures that you are prone to. Mm -hmm. And talking about visiting, you don't just want to visit a place and without not knowing the do's and don'ts of that particular, of that particular place. place, you try yeah. as, as possible to get an I mean, like get an inquiry about how the place is, the people that you are going to meet there, and you don't just go there and not interact yourself with those that you see there. You interact by by your means by your means of interaction, you get to you know see many things those people there are even prone to even taking you to places that you you will not even imagine that this exists okay. but for you to go there and then start isolating yourself or probably try to try to uh, segregate yourself from them is one thing that probably will limit your ex your, your exploring yeah, okay. and another thing that we are supposed to take into cognizance about uh, the uh, what's it called the the news landers mm -hmm. is that the the, the place is incredibly free, free. like the, the, the low the, the, the low rate of uh, crime. crime there is very very low yeah. like it's one of the countries that the they are low the, the low crime is, is like is there's, there's nothing to like there's, there's to nothing about, to write yeah. about like it's, it's nothing like as if you are going you are going somewhere in the middle of the night and then you are scared for probably being being robbed or maybe one person or the other trying to enjoy your like it's a place that is like virtually free you mm -hmm. can travel whenever you want to travel you can do anything you want to do at any given time so you don't have any means I mean, you don't have any reason to be scared for either being 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 killed or being injured or mm -hmm. being robbed or anything mm -hmm. as such it's a very good place to be and for the fact that you are going there and you you, you don't want to explore you don't want to you don't want to go to places you just want to like lodge in a particular hotel and then after some few days you are back like it doesn't i don't i don't think you call that traveling or you don't you call that you you you, you going for a vacation you going for a vacation is you going to new place to a new place right get involved in things that they are doing their cultures what are their cultures like their kind of food how do they eat this particular food the taste of their food how is it like like you get involved in things like that aside from that you try as much as possible to you know 
get involved in their in, 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 in like if there's a if there's a way you can even learn their language is a i think it's a welcome thing because yeah. everybody wants to everybody would want someone to come and learn his or her language because to them it's fun i to them it's more of like you wanting to get involved and all of that but don't just go to a place and then try to to restrict yourself to some some angle mm -hmm. or to some region or anything as such there are so many regions in in, in, new, in new zealand we have about like 16 regions like states in yes, new zealand yeah. so you don't just limit yourself to your particular, particular place like go to places unless you are not financially buoyant to do to that kind of traveling places, yeah. but then go to places it is free you don't have to necessarily be scared of either robbers or anything as such it's a very free country a country that you should go a country that you should go and enjoy yourself and a country you should even possibly stay if you really you want to really enjoy yourself and all you know, they're just talking about the beauty. They said not just that New Zealand is beautiful, but it's as well safe. That even when you want to do anything, say, no matter the hour, no matter the time, you find yourself out. Like, even if you want to relocate and you're scared of, you know, there are different countries when you want to tell yourself that you're going to this particular place, but then they can tell you that this place is not safe for you, especially at night. Maybe they can, even the daytime, somebody can do something to you. Maybe you can have haters out there that want to hurt you or that want to just snatch something away from you. But then say, New Zealand is a place where when you find yourself, you are safe. Whatever it is you're doing, no matter the time, like, don't be scared of saying you're moving to a new place. So then there's nothing you can do about it. Maybe mm. you're feeling like this place is not safe for you. But then it's more advisable. They said New Zealand is a safe place for you to be, no matter what you want to do at any time. Don't be scared of saying there are people holding guns, like all these cult guys or maybe people that want to just harm you on they the roadside. They don't even people encourage carrying guns. of guns. Yes, they don't even encourage that. So then New Zealand is actually a place for you to visit and have fun and do all sorts of things you want to do. And don't even think of doubting yourself or doubting whatever it is that you've heard about it. But then New Zealand is a place for you to visit. And then they said, apart from all these things, their food and their culture is to, to die, die for. for. Of course. It's like true. when <laughs> I was actually doing the research at some point and then I learned something that their culture is more like they actually welcome people a lot. Of course. And they teach they you their welcome. language. Sure. Then they have people that learn, um, but one of the languages they have there in New Zealand is sign language due to people who, maybe people who don't even, like, when you see anybody that you want to translate something, you want to tell somebody something, like, you don't even need to say it to the words. You just will have to just do the sign thing, and then you've sent your message already. So maybe let's say they do that mostly when visitors arrive, maybe in homes and all of that, and say they take care of their family, like, very well. Like, family is actually very important to, to them. them. It's true. Be it um, maybe just um, your cousin or maybe something. So far as you are family, so far as they target to be family, you're actually important to them. So they don't even take that to be, they don't, they don't take that for granted for any reason. So then they said whatever it is, even their food, you can boast of whatever it is you want to do because their food is something to die for. Mm. Whatever it is you want, maybe it's fish you want to eat, maybe it's chicken, maybe whatever it is you want to eat. It's there. It's there Even for if you, it's African available. dishes you want to like everything, everything is available is for there. you. They said their food is to but die then for. Just, so it's then just like you going, you, me just going to a new country and then try to go in there and eat to eat another African food. It's just yeah. like me not trying out something as entirely because True. it's more of like me being used to African food, right? But then let me try something new. Let me not just limit myself to where I'm from, but rather mm. expose myself to where I am mm. to rather to you know get various of I mean experiences, experiences and to test out yeah. their food kind of uh, test like. Aside from that, they said they are eats care is like free. extremely free aside from being free it's not as if it's poor mm -hmm. it's not poor it's up to standard you don't have to probably worry for the charges that are, that accompany you being taken mm -hmm. care of and all of that it's extremely free mm -hmm. so long you are not feeling well all you need to do is just go to your hosp hospital see a medical personnel explain what is wrong with you and then everything is okay, okay. so you don't have to necessarily be bothered about the bills and mm -hmm. all of those things the government has already taken care of that all of those things and it's not only limited to their citizens it's as well exposed to me it's, it's, it's prone to um, um even residents even if you are not you are not a citizen yeah. so long you have the visit of me the, 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 the visa of traveling there you are as well exposed to such opportunity you can get you can go there Treat whatever thing you are being you are being worried of, or you are, that is being disturbing you as a sickness or a disease, and then you 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 get healed immediately. It's not about you saying okay because of the fact that it's a government institution or government health care system, probably it's not going to be well equipped. And all. no, it's it's well equipped. Their their yeah. their the, the health system there is well equipped. It's well taken care of. Like it's like a top notch kind of thing. So it's a place to visit. And if probably one is sick, you can as well use that advantage and go and kill yourself. And Actually, come back. when you talk about seeing um, the health healthcare system is free there are a lot of countries today that don't offer that that's when you're going to the hospital you need to pay a lot 
for you to get treated no matter what it is it may be it maybe it's just test you want to go for he said you must pay for it but then in new zealand is an opportunity given to people for you to be able to get treated no mm. matter what is wrong with you except maybe there there's an extreme sickness or there's something wrong with you that you need to be taken out of the country or to do something else but then new zealand will offer you that opportunity most of opportunities that we talk about in new zealand that people are actually saying the place is free like you have opportunities to do a lot of things another opportunity is the work visa opportunity that you will get from New Zealand, so is if you are under 30, you are entitled to a, yes to a work visa abroad. And then one of the biggest advantages of living in New Zealand is the working holiday visa program. And they said there are only a handful of countries that offer working holiday visas and give you the opportunity to spend an extended time abroad with the ability to work and travel. So they said this means you can take a year to live life abroad, explore the country, make money, gain work experience, and explore the pros and cons of living in New Zealand before making a more permanent move sure. so then this is very interesting because when you talk about moving to a particular place like you don't have the opportunity to work and to go to school or to do any other thing but then New Zealand it, they're actually telling us that it's an opportunity for you to actually explore the land you can even take a work leave for like a year One year so just to live your life is like it, is, it, is it more than a year one year okay, okay, one year like it's an opportunity given to you for you to even go to school for that your education and all of that you can even work while school there are other countries that will offer you that for you to work and school and there are other countries that will tell you you have to just work you have to take one mm. it's either you work or you school so then you have to pick one but new zealand are actually giving you this opportunity to, to yes opportunity for you to do whatever it is you want to do you can take your leave go to school come back you can go to work just to make money and have the experiences if you want to have an experience about a certain thing or a particular thing then you have the right you have the opportunity so far as you apply for it they will give it to you mm. they won't just deprive you of something that they know is going to be of importance to you or benefits to you and even to the country or maybe to your family and people outside the country because when you learn a lot of things it's not just for your own benefits but other people will have to benefit from just imagine maybe a healthcare system someone that wants to learn something maybe you want to be a doctor maybe a particular thing you want to do maybe you want to be a gynecologist and then you don't have that opportunities for you to go and learn how would you help other people out there so then they give you all these opportunities because they feel like they are one and they feel they love each other and they feel like you just need to do all these things in order to bring themselves together so then it's an opportunity for you to learn a lot of things in new zealand they give you the opportunity to explore the land and be you a visitor, be you one that is already there, you have the opportunity to do anything you want to do. So then it's more advisable for people to visit New Zealand and even to stay and have fun and just do Just one year, you can't stay permanent. One year, but at least well, you, say, you, can, you can, 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 can even extend visa. it, yeah, of course, true. because it's when true. you're you working there, you just for your own work people to just approve it and may give, give you that opportunity, that's all. You can stay for more than that. Mm. So then why are you trying to make it look like no, it's just for one year? I'm just saying. <laughs> then aside from we have the tourist attractions, and talking about tourist attractions, is one of the places, or one of the places, of course, you're supposed to be. You don't just go to a place and then limit yourself, just like I've said earlier, to a particular place. But you explore yourself to places, places like places that um, by the time you see them, you'll be like, wow, so places like this exist in the world. Places like this are naturally being built, like all of those places. And one of those places are one, we have on the Ford Land National Park or Meaford Sound. This is one of these World Heritage uh, Sites mm. in New Zealand, and it's very, it's very popular because it's a place that is filled up with a lot of islands, mountains, and activities that you can do there, like hiking, you can do biking, and what do we mean by biking? You can use bikes. There are some specific, specific uh, uh, bikes that are reserved for just hiking, like in, in case you don't want to use your foot or your, 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 your leg I to climb. <laughs> you no, know, you can use the bike, it's fun. Yeah. Like there are a lot of I fun there. For how long? Yeah, you know, there are some mountains that are as, as sure. are high, had, like they are so high to the extent that you have to take like say three days or even more than before reaching to the top. The hiking, so it's am I, the hiking is not just to have fun and go and come back. Why do I want to go that far? You would want to go, you would want to experience, you would, you would want to have that, that like over, the overall view, yeah, just true. to you know, have wow. that kind of feeling. You won't just go somewhere halfway and then come back. That was the feeling, I mean, that was the essence of you traveling, of you going there then. True. It's more of like you just going to the top, like, and then have an overall look of how the place looks wow. like. Yeah. That's actually interesting. What about people that are actually scared of heights, people that have phobia oh, of heights? You, you, no, you, you mustn't like, go there now. 
it's, you more, it's not a monster you have to climb the climb yeah, climb actually, the mountains it's actually very well. beautiful and one funny one beautiful. funny one funny me one exciting thing about the place is that there is a water in between the, yeah, the, 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 the reefs yeah yeah the mountain <laughs> so it's more of like you just going to the edge of the water and to see the water down below <laughs> like i'm already scared <laughs> <laughs> maybe, it's maybe, actually fun. maybe you are the type but that is probably scared of heights if not to me it's, it's something that is like fun once it's too high you know, when, you've, when, when, you've not, when you've not seen something before yeah, and all you keep seeing is pictures films and all of that you want to experience that just no, to get I'll the get feeling i'll get dizzy and i might just fall wow. i'll just be like i'm going to fall in between well there are people that are naturally of like course, that of course of course you don't have to necessarily go there are there are some people that are, i think they serve as guide or mm -hmm. those that probably guide yeah, you all through your your all through your journey and all of that they can just tell you stories about the places so you don't have to necessarily go there but then there's this feeling of you seeing something seeing yourself something and being hearing stories yeah so it's just yeah, like that yeah true don't be like me if you're scared <laughs> of it if you have phobia for it don't be like me but then it's actually very good for you to have an experience of something like that because there are a lot of people that will say oh yes i'm scared and i cannot go further and all of that but then there are people that will guide you through and all of that and you still have fun even when you fall maybe you might not just fall far but then no, you have people that will be, help you be that will like guide that. you and see you through because it's just fun when you see a lot of people doing all these things you want to try it there are things that i've tried the share lesson maybe going for hiking going for camping and maybe all these things biking and all of that i've tried biking but then i got very scared wow. on that bike and then the sound of it alone got me dizzy yeah. so then you see there are a lot of people that just want to have just that experience so you just have something to tell someone so then it's very good if you want to try it just feel free and try and it's there. a very big place a yeah it's a very big place and it's a place that rain falls like like for, for you know we have 350 I mean 365 days mm -hmm. in a year yeah. there rain for like for two ten days like 210 days in a year to mm -hmm. tell you that how consistently rain falls there. there so the place is usually been bushy though well taken care of and all mm -hmm. but then it's a and place it's that clean. is always wet yeah. like it's very yeah. wet you will see water cascading from from the top coming down. to the down and all of that so it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to be to, to, when to, you to love see. nature when you love nature you will see a lot of things that will make you want to like you don't even want to remember and sometimes can you forget to eat food you can forget your you're just and having and fun all and all of that because nature is like what is beautiful it sets your beautiful. mind that is like true because if maybe let's say for instance you're thinking of a lot of things and then you just and then you're a lover of nature man for just forget it like whatever it is you see that is beautiful you just tend to just forget about your problem and it's capped like it's it, like it, it, you it, it forget stays, you're supposed to even eat or even do something forever. do you understand so then it's more advisable that when you want to visit new zealand make sure you have plans for yourself don't just go for a day or two and then you end up come back and then you've not done anything of because course. you have a lot of things to do so you just have a lot of things to do. they have a lot of tourist sites there they have the bay of islands north island they said a three hour drive north of Auckland the beautiful Bay of Icelands is one of the most popular vacation destinations in the country they said more than 144 islands dot the glittering bay making it heaven for sailing and yachting so then if you want to you, you want to go on a yacht or maybe you just want to sail or anything they said the Bay of Islands is the best place for you to go to because you will all you will do whatever it is you want to do you will have fun but then I'll still say it again I am still scared of all these things like yeah, but then being in a yacht is actually there will something not be need for you to, to travel me. then what do you mean like i'm going to travel like because there's no the thing is, there's this there's this feeling when you travel and then you get yourself engaged into things that are yeah true. of course you can just so see something that you don't want to do but then when you see someone doing it because of the way the person is having fun you want to try it like i said earlier i said i might have it in mind that i don't want to do this thing because i've heard a lot of things when people have said something that has happened or anything and i'll just be like i can't do this because i'm scared but then when you get to that place and then you see the way people are having fun Definitely we don't doing it of involved. course you want to do somebody like me that i can actually get intimidated and people wow. are having fun wow. in such place and then i'll be like i want to isolate myself no i'll just want to join people so i can just have fun do you understand so then it's more advisable that when you think of saying you don't want to do something why not go there and have the experience just try just make it try just have the experience because you, may you, just you will end up having fun more than the and people there. Yeah, you get true. and loving it. So then it's more advisable for you to just try it. So New Zealand is a beautiful place for you to visit and explore things. Just be happy. And this life is only once. So somebody said you can't live once, you die once. You so then live once. your life every day. So then you have the opportunity to live your life. You have the opportunity to visit places. Why not visit places? Why not live your life now that you still have time? And then while you're living your life, make sure you're honoring God. That's that's very important. Like that's the most important. You can't just live your life saying, 
you're having fun. And then you were excluded from You've forgotten the person that gave you that life. Mm, Do you understand? So true. then, whatever it is you're doing, no matter how you are enjoying your time, you're having fun make with sure friends and family, well, make, sure God <laughs> <laughs> make sure God is involved so you can have fun. Mm. Then the next thing we have is uh, the Queenstown. Mm -hmm. The name mm -hmm. looks the foreign. Queenstown, yeah. <laughs> the name looks foreign. You know, it, the Queenstown used to be one of the capital cities. Like, it's one, it's one of the, it's, uh, it's uh, the news land in former capital city before the well the Wellington well, the Wellington as it is right now. Mm. And it's a place that is very beautiful. Like you see light shining all, all across the town, even even at, at the Varan areas. Like it's a very beautiful place. And should I shock you? Mm. Is it, this is I have <laughs> shock <I'm over. laughs> This is a this is the place that this popular movie uh, rings, I mean, a lot of the rings. A lot of the rings. Yes, this, this, okay. this was very Yeah, that's people. true. So it's a place to visit. Yeah, that's a place to visit. So you can just say, <laughs> I, I'm seeing a lot of the rings. So now I'm in the country, or I'm in the particular place. Yeah, true, actually. So you just go there and see for yourself. You're like, wow, so this is, what this, this is where this sort of thing happened. Like, it's a place to be. You don't just limit your. See, the thing is, we make money to spend money. True, we don't, we don't make money to save them. Not By the time you save them, money what money if you die tomorrow? Mm. So you make money and spend them. Uh, how, how do you spend them? You travel, you True, explore. You like even cool. your mind will be open to so many things. So you don't just make money and then you you continue making the money. You get yeah, True. you make money, continue making the money, but as, as well spend it yeah actually you know there are lots of people that will tell you they're making money but they're not ready to spend it why what is this so because they just want to make the money. money like they just want to have the money well, before the they can is, know. People, you know we have we have different people with different true, mentalities because there are broke people today that will just tell you they have this certain amount of money and they just feel like they, they've made it in life so they want to go and explore like they want to go and do a lot of things but not stopping you from doing that but then at least don't end up spending the whole money you have and then forget you have a family or forget you have no, something. No, it's a choice. We still can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that you know, your best advice is to do that, right? No, I'm not just, I'm not saying, I'm not actually encouraging that, but then it's your choice anyway, still. Yeah, actually, it's your true. Choice. It's your choice. If you want to have fun and continue living, then fine, but then don't have fun and end up being broke and then you can't eat or even true, take care of your true, family. True. But whatever Nothing. it is you're doing, make sure you do it to the glory of God. I will still say that again. Then we have the Rotorio North Island, that on the tormentous Pacific Ring of Fire is one of the most active geothermal regions in the world. This is the land where the Earth's peaks, boiling mud pools, hissing geysers and volcanic craters, and steaming thermal springs be betray the forces that birthed much of New Zealand's dramatic topography. Visitors can take a walking tour of these geothermal wonders and soak in steaming mineral springs while visiting a variety of interesting attractions in order to learn about the region's rich Maori history and culture. So whatever it is you're learning about this place, adventure seekers also find the place very pretty. There are plenty things to do there, the skydiving, the logging, and then the mountain biking, and some of the activities on offer. You talked about biking, like biking on a <laughs> mountain biking. You are just biking. Wow. Like, don't want <laughs> <laughs> like actually, when you talk about climbing mountains with bikes, I know that there are bikes that you use to climb mountains. Especially like they, those they are, these they, hunters. They are, they, they, they are specifically built for yes, that. Yes, they are built for, for hikings and all of that. Like. It, it takes an experienced person to, to be do able that. To but do there that. are guys like there are those that will guide yeah, you. There are those that will look, look out for look out for you just in case anything happens. They said people who love adventure will love to do this to try something new. It's more advisable if you want anything, try it. Like just try something new. We're not saying you're going to end up dying or something. But not then if you all. have, so if, if you're scared, don't just try it. Even if there are, even if there is casualty, yeah. at least it should be at the cost of I mean the cost of you trying to you know have fun have and all that. It also counts too experience. because it's also an experience. Too. I can't die because I'm trying to. No, it's to not have about dying. It's not about dying. It's, it's like about you trying. Fun. Yeah, you know, when you want trying. to try something, there's something in your mind that will tell you, that, okay, this thing you're about to do, it's like you can't do it. So you don't have to necessarily mm -hmm. force yourself. Mm -hmm. Nobody's asking you to force yourself, but then just try it and see. If it is something that is doable, you do. And if it's not doable, nobody will force you to do True, it. Though. So don't just because of the fact that you are being scared, would probably want you not to try it at all. Try it and see if it's doable Actually. or not. So that's what we are saying. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've heard the YouTube advice. So one of the th one of, one of the um, uh, tourist attractions we have there is Fox and Franz Joseph. This is one of the South Islands that we have, and it's actually a two island that have been meshed together. Mm. But then it's more of like a frozen type. Where you see f where you see uh, 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 ice being frozen yeah. in, in form of caves where people enter, but then I'm being curious to know if one would or probably can enter a ice caved 
sort of uh, thing, like because of the code and everything, is it possible? I don't think it's possible. You can only just see, th but there are some people that can actually go in, and there, I think there are some materials that you can be given just so as to make you not, not to make you that, that cold and all of that, to make you warm and to some mm. extent. But then, uh, me personally, I wouldn't want to be, in, be involved into such a uh, 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 situation because the tendency of you getting cold and yeah. freezed inside a cave that is already frozen and all is, is, is something that one have to, you okay. know, you, you have to get, not to get yourself involved into and all of that. But <laughs> yeah, okay. the, the truth is, it's actually going actually, to be fun yeah, because I know there are people that, that, that go there and you go there to see things that are inside. You don't just come, go there and then wait wait for people to come back and tell you things well, that are yeah, inside. You go there yeah. and see for yourself. Only if you can. It's yeah, not. It's not. Yeah, can, it's not. It's not something yeah, that true. is mandatory. So then if you have an opportunity, just try and do. We've been talking about the tourist sites and all of that. Let's at least talk about food. At least a little, you know. I like. know you are food. That's why I want to talk <laughs> I about. I know food. you will say that. <laughs> I know. So then New Zealand actually they have different kind of food, and then they have crispy. Is the popular New Zealand toasted biscuit, and it's consisting of wheat, sugar, and coconut. So it is commercially produced by their food industry, and then the company is well known and then it is something that you want to have because it's crunchy. So said crispies have a crunchy texture and are characterized by a toasted coconut flavor. It is commended to dunk the biscuit into a beverage of choice. So then it's more like it is something you can have with uh, maybe beverages, maybe well, just have it because maybe they said it's one of the things that they have that is manufactured in, manufactured in the country. So then whatever it is you're doing, they have all these things, more like they produce it themselves. So then outsiders can just come and then purchase it and go you know there are places where you can just have these things that they produce for their country and then you can actually export it for people to have so and have it so then in case you maybe you're looking for a way to get crispy maybe you should you should actually send a message to them just like and normal send it to you because it's just like normal biscuits and then like it's chop soaked chop, in coconut chop chop yeah actually that. so then it's very sweet for you to taste even though it's i've not sweet. tasted it yet <laughs> okay. but then it's from look, what no, it's heard, yeah, the looks picture like a alone thing. shows yeah, it looks like a sweet thing now aside from another thing we have is a new land fish and chips this is more of like normal chips. Mm. I don't know if it's yeah. normal chips or not. I chips and, chi and fish, set. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> 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 so this one is more of like the normal chips we have, we know mm. rather, but it's being joined together with fish. Like mm. it's, you, can, you can have it with, together with uh, uh, fish and then some that you can get by the roadside mm. and all of that because it's usually being sold with newspaper. You just, okay, you just yeah. Yeah, sell it in okay. sell newspapers, uh, paper stuff for you and then you just eat it. Or probably you can take it home and eat. You can take it with a soft drink. You can't even take it at that spot with your friends, and like with your friends and all of that. So it's something that one should even test yeah. for those that probably might have not even. Like I was just saying now, but I'm saying already. Talk about, already. Talk about like talking about the combination chips. of chips and and, and, fish. and fish. Like it's something that will go down well. Like I'm just trying to imagine it in my of head. Of course, now it's something that will go down. Well. Something that you can actually prepare. You don't even need to go to New Zealand to prepare it. Like fish and chips. Like it's very simple to do that. Why like are you just a local you way. <laughs> of course, like it's something I can try. So far as I know, I can do this. Of course, I will do it. Like, it's nothing difficult. Then you have the hokey pokey ice cream. He said it's the New Zealand's ice cream variety. It's consisting of vanilla flavored ice cream with small lumps of honeycomb toppy. And then he said, it's, although it is produced in New Zealand, this ice cream variety is regularly exported to Japan. So it means they can actually export it out of their country. It's just a normal ice cream that they talk about, but then it is made there. There are a lot of people today make ice creams on, on their own, like all of all these caterers and all of that. They can just try to make, make it to their own taste or maybe just try to do it for business and all of that. So they said it's one of New Zealand's products, what they do in New Zealand, what they produce for other people to have. So that if you want to have it, you can just tell them the flavor you want and then you can have it. You know, there are diverse ways of making ice creams. So one shouldn't just limit yourself to, to just one, to one flavor one and all of that. All of yeah. That. Now that food we have is Anzac biscuit. This Anzac yeah. biscuit Anzac is... Biscuit. is you nice. like biscuit, yeah? <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. So these biscuits, these biscuits are actually sweet cookies that are made up from combination of flour, golden syrup, butter, sugar, coconut, and other uh, soda stuffs. I mean soda. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you're trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> like so, so that other equipment, all of that, yeah. like that is that is that is involved in making up biscuits like this, mm. and it's not really something that is made up 
just by uh, New Zealanders, even Australia has to make these biscuits. Like it's more of a like combination between these two countries. Yeah. And I think the reason or the emergence of these biscuits was during during one of their wars like that that they had to do these biscuits or produce these biscuits to send to their soldiers. So this 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 that particular scenario, that particular time is what has made the name Anzac Biscuit mm -hmm. right from that time up to this present generation of time. So it's a biscuit that has been there for like ages and up to this moment it's it has still, retained, yeah. I don't know if it has retained the sweetness, although I think it should. It <laughs> should be because if they can actually maintain the quality, then it's still good. So it's a biscuit that has been there for like, like 90 or oh, oh, like mm. it's, it's, wow, it's been yeah. a very long time thing. So yeah. it's something that, it's something that one should taste because it's an ancient kind of, some mm. sort of biscuit and something that one should, you know, have a bite of and just see how it tastes like. And yeah, then we yeah. have Jaffa's. Talk about Jaffa's <laughs> Jaffa's, like I wanted to just talk about it. It's more like a chocolate that they have there and then that is why they named it Jaffa. They named the sweets after Jaffa's orange and it was first produced in 1931. Wow, like, like they have ancient foods Yeah, there. of course. And then it's still in existence because they still produce it. The sweet balls are so popular that there is even an annual Jaffa race in the world's steepest street in New Zealand where candies sometimes hit 100 kilometers per hour. Mm. So you see, like more like it's still, they still produce it, people still consume it. Because when, when I just read about it and I realized it was made of chocolate, like I was just smiling inside of me like, you no, know, it's something, it's made of chocolate, yes, co Maxi, covered in it. Of, of course, mm. you should know I love chocolate. How would I, I think know? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> because don't want me to tell you to buy chocolate, so <laughs> you're in for it. Yeah, it's made of chocolate and then said it's sweet and then so he got his name from the Jaffa's orange. They said they can even stay and then make like maybe they can, a competition in order for you to get that chocolate, like in order for you to have it, just to have a feel of it or taste of it. It could be very expensive, it could be cheap, it could be something you can afford, but then it is what they make over there. They have a lot of things that they make in their country for themselves, for their consumption and for other people that they can export to. Then we have meat pie. I think this one is a normal. Mm, no, yeah, this one is not normal. It cannot be normal. From, from the pictures of this meat pie, so like this meat pie encompasses stuff like meat inside mm. and some other uh, what's it called sauces that are inside. So to me, it's something to taste because when you go to when you go, to <laughs> 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 you know why I'm laughing because I know you've not eaten it before. What's like the, the particular meat pie, right? Yes, yes I've not. With a lot of chicken, with a lot of uh, meat inside, and other, you no. Know Maybe this is the normal meat pie that we always eat here. Of course, I don't get it. I ate one yesterday, like no, B1. No, it's not the normal one. This oh, one has okay. stuff like meat inside, and sauces, and all of those things. Oh, the one okay. we see here is more of like the one you see, you have meat seen my gear, potato, you see. that's <laughs> all. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's different. It's a low-budget meat pie. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. And this, this, this particular meat pie is more of like an, Austr I mean, uh, and more of like Australia and um, New Zealand sort of meat pie. And yeah. they produce or they prepare it in their own style. You know, there's different styles of producing food, me sorry, of preparing food rather. And the way you produce my, me, the way I produce mine is going to be difficult. I mean, different, uh, of course, different from the way you, you produce yours. So it's something that one should taste. Yeah. You don't just do what you are, used, you don't just eat what you are used to. Thing, yeah. But then just test other people's own to know if you can probably work on yourself to, to prepare something even as much as theirs or stuff like that. Yeah, they said the exact inventor is still debated. The first recipe for palova appeared in print in 1926, although it was not the dessert we know today, but was instead a multicolored gelatin dish. To then, they still have it too today. And then just guess how the time, like, since, like, they still have it, like, it's ancient, but then they still have it today. They still produce it, people still consume it. It's the benefits of living in New Zealand, amazing weather all year. Mm. Like you cannot complain of heat or complain of you're not comfortable. I just told like, you about yeah. uh, that flood, that flood uh, island. Uh, yeah, of course. And then the temperature, everything rain. there is just comfortable. Like you can just you, you can just do anything you want to do. You can't complain of the weather and say this sun is hitting me like it's too much. Like the sun is scorchy and all of that. But then you want you will need to be comfortable. You will have fun. You do whatever it is you want to do. Like New Zealand is a place for you to be. New Zealand is a place for you to visit. You said whatever. It is you want to do just remember that you have a lot of opportunities and things to do in New Zealand so then we have come to the end wow. of the show wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so yeah of course very unfortunate that time is actually of, against more us. of New Zealand there are other things there are other places yeah, of to, course, New Zealand to talk about as far as New Zealand is concerned 
<laughs> but then we have to close the show. Yeah, of course. We are, do you want to sing fast? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Tony, for doing this with me as usual, me. always. Thank you, viewers, for staying tuned with us to watch New Zealand today on the media show live on Echo Television. We hope you stay with us to, to watch our other shows and have the best of the day.